Hello people, long time no see. I've been away for a while and a while and a while. I'm back. Uh. <laughs> Whenever you are gone, I just wanna be with you. Please don't get. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Salut les amis, bienvenue et bon retour sur ma chaîne. Hola, bienvenue dans la canal. Konnichiwa, watashi no channel ni yakuso. If you're doing fine today, it's another day, another week, and another video of me some kind of break but I think it was just musty because of a certain type of personal things here but I'm back that's the matter here it was a jewelry tag because I got tagged by Earthy Cupcake I was all about talking to you about my jewelry collection you know it's gonna be centrally divine and Stelina so girls it's gonna be your turn next I'm just saying I would say that when it comes to my jewelry collection in general I think I don't have a lot I have a really weird version of just organizing my jewelries. I don't have one place where I put all of them together. I have multiple places. When it comes to the main jewelry pieces that I usually wear, I would keep them close to the entry of my apartment so that whenever I get ready, I don't have to look through everything to be able to find them. So that's easy for me that way. I do have a wide selection when it comes to jewelries in general, but I don't think I have that much, but I think I have a lot. I have a couple of them that I bought in Cameron, so really unique here and that I'm never gonna be able to find all the time. That makes my outfits be so much interesting a lot of jewelries because I don't wear them as much and necklaces I'm not a fan as much I, I do wear them from time to time whenever I think about wearing them I stop wearing some of them and I stop buying a couple of them because of that reason my first piece of jewelry honestly I don't remember <laughs> at all i don't remember when i started wearing jewelry it's something that i know is that my ears got pierced so many times over the couple of years because i tend to have sensitive ears like really bad sensitive the third time was the lucky one and now i still have them pierced and i don't have any other issue it took a while a necklace for my mom Definitely go for gold because it suits my skin tone a lot better. Be drawn to gold more. It just had that kind of chic element to them. When it comes to my type of style in general, I think unique. It's gonna be a unique shape, it's gonna be a unique size. I have two pairs of earrings that are really similar, are in gold and silver. I think I have a mix of them, depending on the event, depending on the occasion. I'm gonna get inspired by the element, the occasion, and the place where I'm gonna go. I don't have a preference that much when it comes to it. I've been really more into the dainty and the smaller ones though. Doesn't mean that I don't like the ball because I still have ball necklaces, I just don't wear them as much. Too big? No. Biggest, biggest, biggest here, and I grew up with that, is the creels. Like, I can't stand big creels. Like, I can't. I just can't. I feel like the bigger they are, the more risk you have to have somebody try to pull them off from your ears. I just have that picture in my mind where I get stuck somewhere and it just like gets pulled off and like anything can happen. So because of that, I am so scared and I do have smaller versions. Most of the time, if I do have creels, they're gonna have a detail really scared of. Feels. <laughs> it's gonna be a mix. This style is gonna be something that I'm gonna prioritize over the price. It has to be pleasing to my eyes. For my mom, it's gonna be fine jewelry most of the time. <laughs> not the cheaper, the better, but not overpriced. It's always balanced here at the end of the day. When it comes to my ears, when it comes to it's not gonna be real, real gold or real silver. My ears are gonna act up. Can't wear them for like hours hours and hours and hours and maybe three four hours you just send me a signal like take them off <laughs> literally take them off I definitely mix them up but have my go-to type of jewelry pieces that I always tend to keep close to the door whenever I go to work in the morning or whenever I'm in a rush. Classics when it comes to my style because they could be really versatile. No matter what I'm gonna wear, go with any side makes it easy for me. Most of the time it's gonna be gold and silver or gold and black and silver. And when I have more time, if I get ready for a special event, then I'm gonna go look through every type of jewelry or any places that I have in my apartment to be able to find something that I haven't worn for like centuries. 
and every day I'm, I'm really going back to my go-to's favorite don't have the time in the morning to be able to like go through everything so yes yeah, so i have my go-to and yes my ears are pierced and i just have one it was a struggle <laughs> I want to get that one. I never really thought about having another one because I do have just add some clip ons, it's gonna be better that way. I'm so scared of needles. <laughs> I can't do another piercing, I just can't. This is not for me. So the clip ons are the way to go if I want to add more. I'm not married yet and I'm single. I would probably want it. To be a surprise? Would I say a total surprise? No. <laughs> Marrying the guy is probably gonna be aware of my style. I would still want him to kind of ask some questions, you know? Not necessarily to say that, hey look, I'm gonna go and buy you a ninja drink. I want to be surprised. I would love that. As you can see, here I always put multiple rings, something that I love doing, been doing for a while now. So when it comes to having just one ring, I think it's just a bit just boring to me. But again, it depends on the size of the ring here. If you have a bald and really big ring, maybe it doesn't matter as much to add anything else to it. If you keep it like really small, like the ones I have, you can then add even more rings. And because I don't wear necklaces as much, it's all about balancing. If I have bald earrings, I'm really go through something much more than here when it comes to the rings and I'm gonna keep it minimal if I have a necklace. Good, I wouldn't even have any necklaces. My favorite type of jewelry are earrings and rings. So necklaces, not as much. I'm really trying to think, but um, no, I don't have any. <laughs> Maybe my first necklaces that I had from my mom, probably. No, not so much. don't wear the ones I already have as much. I really love the Chevrolet style this year. It's really rusty. Usually I don't have any type of jewelry on my wish list. I just like go and buy them. It's gonna be more like her pants that I think they're really great for this year. Because of my really big braids now, I don't know how I'm gonna be able to work with that. But apart from that, not really nothing in my wish list at the moment. Thank you again Hotsu Cupcake for tagging me on that. It was really fun actually. I keep it short and sweet here. I hope you liked it. I'm gonna see you for my next video. Be a how to style a certain type of basic piece here. Subscribe if you haven't yet because I always always share styling advice, styling hacks best as I can. Being a personal stylist I love doing it. Fashion in a really original magic edgy type of way here. See you on my next video on Thursday. Until then I'm gonna wish you a really great beginning of the week. Hugs, like a lot of kisses, and smile because it's free and contagious. Bye.